Hi, welcome to What's in the Box, Josh. I'm Josh, and this is today's box. Inside today's box is something that everybody should have, or at least think about having. Solar panels. Not everyone. Yeah. Everyone. What about people who don't believe in the sun? Yup. What about the underground mole people? Mm hmm. What about. Hey, who are you anyway? Your teenage son. I don't have a son. Wow. That's mean. You wanna take that back? No, I mean, I don't have. I don't have any kids. No, it's fine. Just leave. Today we're talking about the Ranger 300 Solar Briefcase by Goal Zero. This is a company that tests their gear in the harshest conditions on the planet. Extreme heat, extreme cold, extreme rain, blizzards, everything. It's probably built to handle more extreme weather than where you live. So the Goal Zero Ranger 300 Solar Briefcase. It's four panels compressed into one briefcase -y thing that you can carry around. This is designed to be used with a power station, but even better with the Yeti power station, which is made by, yep, Goal Zero. So the Ranger 300 provides up to 300 watts. Oh, that's where they got the name. 300 watts of solar power. These ones are meant to be more portable. They're for your house, for your garage, for your car, or just to have on hand in an emergency. What these do is collect energy from the sun, convert it, and store it into a power station, which we'll review in another video. Once you've got it stored inside the power station, you can save it for an emergency, or you can even use it to cut down on your monthly electrical use and bill. You have enough to power lights, laptops, chargers, small refrigerators, power tools, nighttime medical devices that you use and the power goes out. It can be a literal lifesaver to have these two devices. Plus, unlike the old school generators, there's no fumes, it's all clean energy, they're safe to use inside, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Gotta focus on the solar panels. So as you can see, it's sunny outside. I think we have enough room to unfold these in here. All right, enough of this. Let's get unboxing. Oh, I forgot the, the whole point of the, the channel. What's in the box, Joshua? Okay, time to unbox. I lost the knife in the last episode, so we're going with scissors today. Of course, the handle. is just bulky and awkward but but this this is much better <coughs> new solar panel smell okay we got the 
case. This is a good quality case. This feels nice. Nice thick, durable zipper on it. On both sides, actually. You know what? Let's see what's, if there's anything else in the box. I want to get this out of here. No, there is not. It's kind of like the same as carrying one of those tables. Picnic tables type things. Hold up. Okay, how does this work? So we need us. We're gonna need a sun. set up in a constrained living room, so, you know what, maybe we can set it up in the Yeah, there we go. So they, oh my god, sorry Mr. Plants. So they fold pretty easily, and they do snap together. There's kickstands, and oh, I got turned around. I got these in back. You can lean it, and it'll stay up on its own. This is the power supply. This is where you connect the wires to your power station. The sun comes in. It's converted to energy. And it's absorbed up to your power station where it is stored. The box was in the way all the time. instruction manual. So you got the instruction manual here, user guide, I should say. There's instructions on how it works, how to chain it, like Daisy chained it to other Ranger 300s. You can actually connect other ones up to this and have like a super solar panel. You will need another high power port combiner cable though, just so you know. So this is made with ETFE polymer instead of glass. It's also recommended to reposition the solar panel throughout the day so you get the best sun. Or the worst sun ever. You can also disconnect the legs if you want to lay it flat on the ground too. And to fully charge up a 1000 Yeti power station, oh wait, Yeti 1000X power station, expect about four to eight hours of sunlight. So like in the name, it's 300 watts of power, 23 volts of open circuit wattage? voltage and monocrystalline cells. Altogether, this weighs 39 pounds. Honestly, it's not that bad to carry, especially for short distances, mostly from the garage to the yard or garage to house or RV to setting it up outside. For long hikes, Goal Zero makes a smaller panel. That would be better. This is also waterproof too. It's rated on the ingress protection scale at IP65 which means rain, snow, submerging in water, and it's gonna be fine. The devices that it may be plugged into, however, might not be waterproof, so be careful of those. There's also extension cables available if the six foot one is not enough. If you're looking for panels to mount to your roof, this is probably not the one you want. Uh, Goal Zero does make another model called the Boulder, which is better for rooftop solar, and I recommend you check that out. So the main junction box is right there. That's what plugs in to the power station. And then there's an, already a chain, chain cable, already a cable linking the other junction boxes built in, so you don't need to worry about that. That's it. All right, so this is all set up here. This is, uh, hmm. I don't know how long I cross. So let's measure how many Josh's it takes. So, as you can see, this is about one Josh unit of measuring length. Uh, I'm about 5'9", and uh, this, actually, no, it's, it's longer, it's longer. 109.5 inches, I could have just read the box. Anyway, we've got them set up, so let's charge up the Yeti. All right, time to let in some of that sweet, sweet golden sun. How long have I been doing this? 
Okay, well, charging up the Yeti's gonna have to wait until the next video, but at least we got to see what's in today's box. If you'd like to purchase the Gold, no, wait, yes, Gold Zero. If you'd like to purchase the Gold Zero Ranger 300 Solar Power Briefcase, there's a link below. I don't get paid for these endorsements or reviews, but if you do decide to buy this product, you'll be supporting this channel through the Amazon Associates program. Also, if you'd like to read my full Rolling Stone review about solar panels, we'll put a link to that too. Honestly, you don't have to like this video, but if you subscribe, you would warm my heart like the sun would warm these solar panels if it was out and I have managed my time better. We'll see you next time on Can Josh Fit in This Box? Oh, I think it's a staple. See you next time. I'm falling, falling, falling.